Dimitri here with the Weekend Preview for March 21st, 2011. Uh, first, let's recap what's happened in this past week really quickly, and then we'll talk about what's coming up. Um, just so if you haven't seen it yet, over on DSP Gaming, a couple things going on. First of all, uh, I tried out the new game Homefront, uh, both the campaign and also the online multiplayer. And there are playlists of both of those over on DSP Gaming. Also, I finished up Dragon Age 2, which I thought the game was outstanding, and I thought the ending was horrendously bad. And I even did a whole video ranting about it because I was so pissed off when it happened. Uh, so go check that out. Also, um, <clears throat> I did a, well, I tried to complete <laughs> my co-op playthrough of Hardcore over on DSP Gaming, which is that game that's supposed to be the spiritual successor to Contra. Uh, it's very similar to Contra, but in a lot of ways it's not. It's a lot more frustrating than the real Contra. Um, and I did that with John Rambo on Saturday, so that's also on DSP Gaming if you want to check that out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then uh, on DSP Street Fighter, there was also some stuff this week. Uh, I did some versus mode gameplay of the Mortal Kombat demo, uh, which I've had for a couple weeks now, but I haven't had a chance to play it against a human. Uh, I actually played that with John Rambo on Saturday. We had, I think, about 17 matches that you can check out over on DSP Street Fighter. And then also, this week was the release of the first two DLC characters from Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, being Jill Valentine and Shuma Garath. Uh, I tried both of those characters out in mission mode and also messed around a little bit with them in arcade mode to try to get some interesting strategies and, and flesh out uh, their gameplay. And then I tried to go online and play with them for about six matches, and the matches were so horrendously laggy that I fucking gave up. And that's over on DSP Street Fighter. You might get a laugh out of it, even though it's probably some of the worst gameplay you've ever seen. Um, one thing that I think is really funny is that people are like, <clears throat> Oh, but Phil, when you play online, you understand that the other guy has lag too, right? I'm like, yeah, of course I understand that. And that's why they're doing really ridiculous patterns that don't work offline, and they work perfectly online. Like, I don't play like that. I'm trying to play the game for real. I'm not trying to learn a false way to play the game so I can win online laggy matches. I mean, the people who are winning online can't hold a candle to anyone who's played the game offline. They're just going to get their asses beat because their strategies don't work. And uh, that's why I like when people leave ridiculous comments about stuff like that. Oh, you, you just don't know how to play the game. Sure, dude, you know, I don't, have, I don't have all these offline videos, you know, I haven't been to Winter Brawl and also Final Round and watched all the top-tier strategies. I don't know how to play the game, whatever you say, idiots. But anyway, I digress as usual. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, this week, what to expect, what's coming up? Uh, today, I'm honestly not even sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to try to do something. I might try Homefront online again because I actually did enjoy it the last time I played it. Uh, and I am getting close to, I believe, unlocking the airstrike, which it seems is what everyone uses in that game uh, as like their, you know, their their kill streak, their perk, whatever that they buy. Um, besides that, there's not a lot going on today. It's a slow day. It's a dreary day. It's actually pouring rain outside, pretty nasty. And I actually am busy. I have some stuff I need to take care of personally. So there might not be a lot going on today. But tomorrow, <clears throat> two games. First of all, Crisis Two. Uh, is coming out, and then also PS Move Heroes. And if you haven't been following along, PS Move Heroes is pretty much the game that I thought was going to sell the PS Move to begin with, and then it ended up not being a launch title. Here we are, you know, six months in, and it's finally fucking coming out. Um, what it is, it's a team-up of all of the uh, PlayStation characters. So you got Sly Cooper, you got Ratchet and Clank, you've got... Um, <clears throat> Shit, I don't even remember. It's Ratchet and Clank, and who's the other two? Uh, Jack and Daxter. And then there's a, someone else, too, in there, in the mix somewhere. And uh, they each have their own levels that play similar to their own games, but using the PS Move controls. And then there's some crossover levels, so it seems like it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, I'm hoping, I haven't looked too much into it, but I'm hoping there's fucking co-op. A lot of these games that I've been buying recently uh, don't have co-op, and I'm getting pissed off. For example, I wanted to play Bulletstorm with John Rambo, on uh, Saturday, and he looked at the game and he thought it was interesting, and then we go to do it, there's no fucking co-op. It's only online play, and we're like, how fucking stupid is that? I mean, I have a nice big TV, we can't do fucking split screen? Absolutely not. Not allowed in that game. So, <clears throat> really stupid. And uh, so I'm hoping that that, that game has some co-op. So gameplay-wise, what are you going to see? You're going to see the Campaign of Crisis 2, you're going to see PS Move Heroes, you're going to see online play of Crisis 2. If you remember, I actually played the Crisis 2 demo last month, and after some 
experience hands-on with it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. A lot of the stealth mechanics, the abilities of your suit, really determine the gameplay and the pace of the match rather than just a standard FPS. I really liked how it made the game unique. So, looking forward to that. Um, also this week, if uh, you know if everything permits and lo everything's looking good right now, you know John will probably be back on Saturday for another episode of Smart Guys, and uh, maybe we'll try to do some co-op gameplay. I told him, <coughs> I swear, this is like the hundredth time, but I told him again, bring Assassin's Creed Brotherhood because he has it when he comes because all the online you know gameplay has been updated, all the multiplayer, and he hasn't he hasn't updated it or done anything, and I've been dying to play that game online. But I haven't had a chance, and I said, this is a great thing for us to do co-op. We've done it before. Why not do it again? So, <clears throat> hopefully he remembers, and if he does remember, we'll be doing that. If not, maybe we'll see if PS Move Heroes have some co-op, but we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, nothing else really going on um, outside of that, but I think with two brand new games and with stuff going on on Saturday, it should be a pretty filled week. Next week's going to be very exciting with... Mass Effect 2 DLC, the last one coming out, a new WWE game, and I haven't played one in over two years. Um, also, <coughs> excuse me, the next installment of Back to the Future, all that's coming up next week. So next week's going to be packed, action-packed, plus my April Fool's special, which I haven't talked about yet. But every year, as you know, I do something for April Fool's, and there will be something this year. So, All right, so that's it for this week, short and sweet. I'm DSP. I hope you enjoy this week coming up on DSP Gaming. Um, <coughs> If, by chance, I do happen to get some people together, I will try to do some offline matches in Marvel 3, uh, which I haven't done in quite some time. I, I do want to try the new characters as well. Uh, and so, I like Shu McGrath, actually. I think he looks pretty cool, and uh, I think he has some potential there. So I, I will see what happens, but I'm not promising anything just because it obviously depends on what everyone's doing. And I haven't talked to a lot of the people who've been playing Marvel 3 in a while because, as you know, I've been busy with travel and I was sick that week. So I haven't really talked to them in a couple weeks, so I'm not sure what everyone's up to. But if I can get some people over here to play, we'll have some matches up on that as well over on DSP Street Fighter. But we'll see what happens. So I'm DSP. Thanks a lot. See you guys later, and enjoy this week.